Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're going to a uh, shots fired call. It says the guy's probably intoxicated. Fired a shot at the uh, compliance house or the vehicle. And uh, we got additional details. So he fired three more shots. He's supposed to be outside in a uh, red expedition parked in front of the uh, resident. Sounds gone. like he left. <laughs> Sounds like he might have left. Might be able to catch him. Could be a suspect left in a red expedition. Hispanic male right now behind a red expedition left uh, westbound go down to this one. on uh, Hayner. But also they're saying he might be armed with an AK-47. We got additional details so that the, uh, there it is right there. Is that red? I don't know. It's an expedition. Additional details saying that the uh, guy left the scene. Yeah, he's moving. Right, left tell the scene him. with a uh, gun. With the AK-47 assault type rifle. Zebra 217, 215, we've got the expedition We're going eastbound on Rosedale right now. He's good to run. Hey, he's probably going to run. Yeah, he's not stopping. Northbound Little. Northbound Little. He's bailing. <laughs> Vehicle's still rolling. He's running. Track, white, uh, Hispanic male, all white, running westbound. Just turn northbound. Okay, so I'm okay, okay, so got him. Okay, so. <laughs> Zero fifteen. He's in custody. Custody, in custody. Yep. Is he in custody? Ten four. He's in custody. Who's shooting at, man? Huh? Who are you shooting at? Nobody saw anything. Nobody? Hey, there is an AK in the car. You got a rifle in your car. We got a call saying you said fired several, several shots. Yeah, that, was, that was my brother. That's, oh, that's my gun. I, I got the... the What's the rifle doing in the car? Oh, that, that, that's my gun, sir. I didn't, I didn't... That's your gun? So I got that paper in my, my yeah. wallet that the, the officer is uh, took away from me. Uh, 73 down here, possible. So you weren't firing any shots? No, sir. If you weren't firing shots, why did you run whenever we turned on you? Because, you know, everybody gets scared, sir. Everybody gets scared when I see the police. Yes, sir. So everybody driving down the road that we passed didn't turn and try to run from us whenever we, we drove by them. Let's see. Sit down. Let's go back over to the vehicles, at. George, he's got us up here. No. We got the description of the vehicle. We passed the vehicle uh, up on Rosedale, traveling the opposite direction we were. We turned around on the vehicle, and uh, he knew he was getting behind him. He tried to take off on us. Uh, we lit him up. He tried to turn on one street, decided not to make the turn. Continued to the next street. As soon as he made the turn, the guy bells out of the vehicle, starts running. The, meanwhile, the vehicle's rolling down the road with nobody behind the wheel for a good block. Misses two or three houses, several vehicles in the driveway here, and ends up resting up against this tree. This is the gun we found in the 
in the back seat of the expedition after the foot chase. Well, I guess they found he fired some rounds down there. Five, five, three, and, five. Uh, round like three. this will travel yeah, through quite a few closer. walls and a few houses, even if they hit it right. He was loaded to bear about a 40 round magazine. So uh, he was ready to rock and roll. I'm just glad he bailed out with nothing in his hands. So you didn't fire any rounds over at the house? No, sir. You didn't? No, sir. OK. Did anybody shoot the gun over there? I don't know, sir. Uh, I mean that. Well, it's your gun. It's in your car. I mean, you don't know if anybody shot it or not. I mean, gunshots are kind of loud. The people that called this call in said that Hispanic male fit in your description with an AK-47 top rifle driving an expedition was shooting rounds off and fired at least three or four rounds off at their house. We see you coming down Rosedale after they said you'd already left, pull you over in an expedition, and you've got the exact gun described in your car. OK, so they say about, I mean, they say about three or four shot. You can check, I mean, my, my rifle, it only carry 40 shots. 40 I bet shots? It, I bet it only got about 39, I think. I, I mean, the last 38, but they didn't get no... So that means two rounds have been fired. You say that that magazine holds 40 rounds. Yes, sir. You say there's only 38 or 39 rounds. No, I, I mean, I, I think, I mean, I think about 39 or uh, 38. You think there's 39 or 38 yes, in there? Sir, I mean, but you Okay, that means there's two rounds missing. So did you no, shoot them you, off or what? No, you just, you're the one saying, like, people report, I mean, uh, somebody right, shoot about three or four you're rounds. Gonna be, you're going to be placed under arrest for evading arrest detention yes, vehicle. And inviting rest of attention on foot. OK. okay. Yes, let me, let me. You understand that? You understand what you've been arrested for? Yes, sir. Can you okay. just please, um, I hang up my We'll get that here in a second, OK? Houston, hang tight. Call on hanger. The service number will be 04. What we're going to do now is we're going to have McGraw transport the suspect over to the complainant, see if they can identify him on scene over there. OK? Yeah. He said he can ID him. Good. Yeah, that's him. That's him? Mm -hmm. OK. What'd you see him do? Huh? What'd you see him do? He, he, he shot at me when I was in the car. So me you were the passenger cousin. in the car? Yeah, yeah. Your cousin was driving? OK. All right, well, the other officers got all your information already? Yes. OK. All right, well, we appreciate you doing that for us, OK? OK. That's definitely him? Yes, that's him. All right. Cool. It's a good positive ID. I guess he was a passenger in a vehicle that got shot. He, his cousin was driving the vehicle when this guy shot at him and blew out their tire. I guess his cousin already changed the tire and left the location. So we got good ID from him as far as him being the shooter and the one shooting at him. So that's, that's good enough for us. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. 363 County, last call in DC. As police officers, we have a lot of discretion to make decisions out in the field. Sometimes we're forced to arrest people because of the circumstances. Usually domestic violence related issues are mandatory arrests. Other than that, besides felony crimes, a lot of the decisions are left up to us. So it's not always the best solution to take people to jail. Sometimes it's better just to solve it in the field and then let everyone move on with their lives. Uh, there's a vehicle up here that doesn't have any rear lights on whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and conduct a traffic stop on it and see what they have to say. 363 County, we're stopping 9600. Uh, 363, Get back in the car. Can I ask you what I did wrong, sir? Turn down your radio so I can hear you. Huh? Turn down the radio oh, so sorry. I can hear you. OK, you, you're, you're freaking out on me here. Turn your car off. I'm sorry. Can I ask okay. you what I did wrong, officer? I didn't do nothing wrong, please. You have no lights on. What do you mean I have no lights on? Your lights oh, aren't on. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry, sir. I have a switch back here that okay. I forgot That's to fine. push. I'm really sorry, officer. Please. Why are you so panic-stricken? I just don't want to go to jail. Or nothing. Why don't you want to go to jail? I have a suspended license, officer. You have a suspended license? You have anything other than a suspended license? No, I have nothing else. OK, to here's what I'm going to do, because you're freaking me out. I'm going to have you step out of the car and put your hands on the hood. I'm All sorry. right? Please That's don't fine. Me. Calm down. 
Stop, stop, stop. I'm, so, I, I, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I swear to God, I'm not. I, I understand that, and I'm gonna prevent you from doing anything oh, okay, stupid. I'm not doing okay, anything. I understand that. Relax. <laughs> Keep your. I can't go to jail, please. Okay, I'm gonna cuff you right now because. Just relax, just relax, relax. You're, you're scaring me. I'm sorry, sir. I just don't want to go to jail. I can't. I'm Nobody said you're going to jail. I know, I'm sorry. No, we don't, okay, don't move. All right, you do you understand me now? Down or do okay. I don't have nowhere Here's to the deal. Down. Listen to me. Okay. Do not move. Okay, I won't move. I promise. I won't. I promise. I went three, six, three, away at one uh -uh. Ow. Okay. Ow, there you go. Put your head on the car for me. Where's your ID at? It's in, it's in my front pouch pocket. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take a step back, spread your feet for me, a little bit more. I'm going to pat you down for weapons. You're not under arrest, but I'm detaining you. I know, I know. I'm All right? Just because you're a suspended driver does not necessarily mean you're going to jail. I know. All right? If you're driving around without your lights on, those are issues, okay? It was, it was an accident. I swear it was. I usually I have a switch on my, um, my uh -huh. steering wheel that, has a, that I have to push to put my lights on, and I just forgot to switch. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I no. just want to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay? All right. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. You're not under arrest, but I'm going to sit you over here on my bumper. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Because you're in handcuffs and I'm going to be questioning you, I have to advise you of your rights. Yes, sir. Turn around and sit down. Yes, sir. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Yes, sir. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you before any questioning. Yes, sir. If you cannot afford a lawyer, we'll appoint one to represent you before any question if you wish. Yes, sir. You decide at any time to exercise your rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir, I do. All right. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the Rainier's game out there on Chase Okay. Studio. Tell me you're at the Dollar Beer Night. I was not. I had no, no drinking. Okay. None. All right. I have a witness. Okay. You can call my father. He was You know what? Me. I'm not here to hem you up. Okay. I'm here to make sure if there's nothing going on here, I'm going to ensure that you get home safely. Yes, sir. So... I need to know reasons why we stopped you, i.e., you're freaking out on me, you're driving with no lights, you say you have a suspended license. I just don't okay, listen to me. Okay, have you done any type of narcotics tonight? Have you done any yeah. type of illegal street drugs? No, I have not. I don't do drugs. Are you on any prescriptions? No, I'm not. Why are you, why are you literally trembling? I just don't want to go to jail. What? I just don't want to go to jail. What degree suspended are you? I don't know. How many times have you been suspended? Just my first time. Okay. If we do happen to arrest you, is there anything in the car that's illegal? Nothing in my car is illegal. Okay. Everything in my car is fine. Right. I right. I don't do anything. So that switch. The only thing I do illegal. Well, it's not illegal. The only I thing smoke you do illegal. Cigarettes. You smoke what? Cigarettes. That's it. That's not illegal. Well, I know. Right. That's the only. Do you smoke do. a lot of them at one time? No, I only all smoke right. a See, half pack a day. Right. You know. So it's I mean, not. Not, <laughs> it's not the nicotine that had you all fired up, is it? Well, it's probably that and lack of sleep. I've, okay. Well, driving with a lack of sleep is not the right thing. Uh, do you mind if I check your eyes real quick? Yes, you can. Okay. Why don't you stand up for me? Come back over here. Like I said, I'm not trying to hem you up, okay? What I want you to do is see the tip of my pen? Mm -hmm. I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes only. Okay. Do not move your head. Ready? No prescription medication? I think I took some aspirin yesterday. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay. Excuse me, I got a lazy eye. Well, you must have two lazy eyes. You have, your eyes are slightly jerky on yeah. both sides. So, you haven't had any beer or anything earlier? Any pot? No. I've had soda at the game. That was okay. it. Soda. All right. I had a large Pepsi, I think it was. It's valid. Okay, so it's good to hook. Okay, come on back over here. Not necessarily. Have a seat, have a seat. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to be under arrest for driving while suspended. Okay. Uh, my partner's going to search the car, and then we're going to probably take you downtown. Okay. So what I want you to do is go ahead and stand up for me. I just patted you down earlier. I'm going to do a complete search on you. Is there anything else that we, we failed to find the first time? No, nothing. Okay. John, you want to you want to search him? Well, one piece of advice to you: next time you get pulled over by the police, stay in the car, keep your cool. Obviously, you were suspended for a reason. I'm with the 24th District Nets team. Today, we're in the uh, Juniata section of the 24th District, which is a working-class neighborhood, very good neighborhood. 
Uh, recently, uh, some, uh, drug, some drug areas have popped up where street corner sales have come about. And uh, we're handling community complaint today. I've received several complaints on this one particular site. So we're going to uh, set an officer up for surveillance. And we have some, uh, some dealers out there right now. And we're just waiting for some buyers. So uh, we'll see what happens. Right now, uh, uh, one of the sellers uh, got into this right, white van ahead of us. Shut it off! Get in the car! Get in the car! Don't move. What did I do, sir? Don't move. Uh, what Just stay I right where you're at. I'm in Lycoming. Stay right here. Put your hands up there. You put your hands on the dash. You stay right where you're at. Yes, you're going to get a visit right now, all right? What do we do? I don't understand what we're doing. Open the door. Unlock it real easy, OK? I was just working on under the young guy. Is that what you were doing? Yes, sir. He, he has my Okay, step out of the car. Step right. out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I live right here, Thomas. Right. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Handcuff it. Turn around. Turn around. Yes, sir. I didn't do anything. Turn okay. Yo. Turn around. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adam boy. Yes, sir. Nice. Next time I try to handcuff you, yes, sir. don't pull away from me, okay? Never, sir. Thank Never, you very much. Never, sir. Okay? Never will think right. about it, sir. Never will, sir. Don't worry about him. See what he wants to do? Step out. Turn around. Can I go to What do you want your daddy for? Because I don't know what's going on. Well, what does your dad know what's going on? Does because he know what's going on? I just came from my house. Okay. I just got from my, I just got done work. Miguel, Ronnie. I just got from my house. I just got done work. Okay. Here you go. We got a little. Oh, that's not me. Oh, we got a little stuff in his zipper over here. I don't know about that. You this guy's been daddy. selling. He's been going to his zipper. And inside his zipper. So you got there, I don't a little. Know about that officer for real. For a have marijuana in I don't have no marijuana. Trust okay. Me, I didn't have none. I don't even smoke weed. Hey, yeah. There's, you there's, can't ask both of them. One more guy. There's two more guys. One I can see right now. Other... Ronnie, I want you guys to go take down the other guys. You can't ask everybody. Smitty, bring him over here. Leave me and Kenny with these guys, and you guys go take down for Richie. We'll drop off this prison with you guys. Yeah, leave him right here. Truthfully, officer. Come on over here. You sit down right here. Sure. Sit down. Okay? Just sit down. I just sit down. Officer. I'm gonna go ahead. You go ahead. Sir, can I ask you to tell you something? Yeah. The gentleman has the property of the house that we're working on for land. Sit down. Okay. Now sit down. Thank you for that information. Yes. Sit down. You can ask him, he just picked sit down me up, too. Sir. Yes. Thank you. Enough. Up. Okay? Enough. Just respect them. I didn't do nothing. Huh? Kenny, you got these guys right here? Okay, what we got here is uh, these two gentlemen over here bought marijuana. This gentleman over here also bought marijuana. Uh, the male that was in the back of the van has been selling. Uh, we have a surveillance officer watching him. And uh, he saw him get into this van. And uh, the officer stated that the male was selling from a zipper area. And we went into a zipper area right now and uh, recovered narcotics from a zipper area. We're going to look. Right here in the van. Okay, he said he sold marijuana to him, and right here in the van, within his reach, we got marijuana in the van. Looks like we recovered some crack cocaine off of that mail, too. Kenny. Oh, He's right within reach of the, of the driver. We reached down when we pulled up on him. You want to stay with these guys? We're going to go around the corner, guys. We'll see what we can do with these other dealers. 1945, The surveillance officer stated that uh, these uh, other males started to walk, so we had to send other officers around to get them before they left the block. Ronnie, do you got those guys? Yes, yeah, sir. We're good around here. There's the other officers. They had to get them before these guys left the area. Let's cuff him now. Cuff him for now. I don't have cuffs on me. You got cuffs on you, Ronnie? I, I don't. All right. You got any more on you, Miguel? No. We out? Have a seat, sir. Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. Also, he's using a glove. A uh, male put it in his mouth when they pulled up. Uh, which is something that is done a lot of times. That way they swallow the narcotics and when we get here and uh, we can't recover it. And uh, like everything else that's uh, taken internally, it will pass. It's in plastic bags.
And he'll be fishing in a couple days, looking for it. What did you see, Rich? What did you have? Uh, set up a surveillance and uh, had these males sitting in front of this house here. We had buyers coming up to them, uh, purchasing marijuana. Uh, this guy here in the white, when the cops were coming up, he put the drugs in his mouth. They did recover drugs from his mouth. All right, good job. Go around ID them guys and see if you can find that other kid on the bike. You gonna go with him, Ron? Okay. We seem to have all the players. We have five arrests. We got another seller in the van around the corner recovering narcotics off of him. And uh, this male's definitely a keeper. You all right out here today? Huh? You know these guys you got in the van with? Huh? You know these guys? The friends of yours? Just out for a ride? Huh? You work with them? Okay. It's a nice little compartment you got there in your pants. Did that come with the pants, or uh, is that like you do that yourself? This is a really good neighborhood here. It's on the outskirts of uh, the real heavy drug area. Uh, so we get a lot of complaints for this area. So uh, this is a good one. We got five bodies. Good job. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The vehicle is in the right lane, so he may have gone south and that the female half in the vehicle was crying. Dispatch received a call of a domestic violence situation between a man and a woman in the vehicle that was heading eastbound on Desert Inn. Upon dispatch receiving the plate number, the vehicle came back, came back stolen, 87 Camry. So we're heading in the area to ATL for that vehicle. She's giving us updates right now. So right now she has the air unit en route and it's about a 10 minute time lapse. There it is right there, there it is, go, sweet. Control 3DP24, we're behind that vehicle. We're gonna take it down right now. He's going. He's in. going. He's, he's taking off. 14B and Rose, uh, northbound Pecos at Flamingo. 21, he is going on 20 eastbound. We're in pursuit. Confirming it's refusing to stop. Speeds are 60 miles an hour, occupied two times. 724 monitoring. 724. 3D24, northbound on Monte Verde. Westbound La Paloma. Passenger reaching for the door. She's reaching for the door. Hey, passengers bailing out the vehicle. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, female suspects out on Paloma. We're right in front of you. Paloma, Paloma, We're now northbound on he's Wayne. Reaching, he's reaching. He's, he's reaching. reaching for something in the vehicle. The city is northbound. He's down there at the coming up on Sand Hill. Okay. He's pulling the parking lot there. He can't get out the car. Stopping there. Ball on Sand Hill on the eye. Sand Hill on the eye. Uh, traffic is moderate. Seven four and a fourth. I think it's uh, He's going to apartment complex. He's going to the apartment complex. Okay. He's going to the He's going to be bailing. He's going to bail. He's going to bail. He's going to bail. He's going to bail. Okay. Yeah, bro. He's going to Get on the ground. 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 I am. I am. I am. I am not resistant. Okay, Kyle. You're taking him in touch. You just advise the exact location when you can. Okay, I'm in the custody. Advise the exact location. Okay, copy. Was there a unit that was uh, available to uh, ATF? Oh, you got a backpack, huh? 
That's nice. I know you're not you running because you're a right now. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ow! Get up. Let me get some money. Stand up. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Why did you run, man? What was the reason for running like that? Because me and my girl were fighting. What about that car being stolen? Yeah, it is. Why'd you throw your girlfriend out the ride, man? Why? Why'd you throw her out the ride? Because she didn't know it was stolen. I just picked her up, and I wanted to get her out of it because she had nothing to do with it. So you, so you want to get her out of it, so you just open up the door and just toss her out in the middle of traffic? You know how many times she rolled on the asphalt? No. Well, that was really nice how you threw your girlfriend out that yeah. car right there, man. That was foul, actually. Yeah. I can't believe she was actually rolling on the street. You kept on rolling as you just drove off. What's up with that? I wanted to get hours. She didn't know I didn't nothing see you push out of the bar. I looked like she was in it with you. I didn't see her get pushed. I saw her she jump out. She kept yelling at me for the stop and stuff. And I told her I'll slow up, and I, I slowed up, and I pushed her out. How long ago did you steal the vehicle? It was a few days ago. How did you steal it? The keys. Where did you get the keys from? Huh? From a friend of mine. OK, but your friend gave you the keys and gave, and gave you the keys to this vehicle. Where did he get the keys from? I don't think they're the right keys for this vehicle. I'm, I'm sure you guys know about the mid-80s car. About the what? Mid-80s car. A one key, one key fits all? Yeah, pretty much. OK, so you've been driving around in this vehicle for how many days? A couple. A couple days? Yeah. OK, did you gas it up? Yeah, I put some gas in it. Put some gas in it? All right. OK, what's your name? Kim. Kim? OK, Kim, I'm Sergeant Steve Kendall with Hi. Metro Police. Give me kind of a rundown of what happened today. Well, it was over with my baby and stuff, and he left. The house that we Where were at? sleeping at over at a friend's house oh, on okay. um, Sand Hill. <laughs> and he came by. Then I asked him where he got the car from, and he said a friend loaned it to him, and he had the keys to it, so I didn't think anything of it. So I got the car with him, and then we started fighting. Did he push you out of the car? No, I had to jump out because I didn't want to go through all that. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm getting conflicting stories on that, and I know you probably want to, you know, Make sure that he doesn't get hammered on anything, you know, more, and you're looking out for him. But you need to help us out on that. I mean, he's already admitted that he's pushed you out. I mean, so as far as you trying to help him out that way? It's not going to work. Not going to work, OK? So one, don't, don't lie to me. OK. OK? Just tell me the straight story. Okay. Because you lying to me. We got around that corner and he pushed me out. Why did he push you out the car? I don't know. Was he trying to help you? Or did he was what was he doing? What did he say? I don't know. He just said, get out of the car, bitch. <laughs> That's all he said. <laughs> I want you to just relax a little bit. <laughs> you got any concerns or worries? <clears throat> Let me know. What what do you think's happening here? Do you think you're gonna go to jail? I don't know. Okay. I just wanna go home with my baby. As long as you're telling me the truth, yeah. you don't lie to me. That's the only thing I lied about. So we're gonna, we're gonna, the car. we're gonna make sure you get to the, where your, where your baby's at. Okay. So you can take. Care, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Yeah. So we want to make sure you get over and take care of him. Okay. All right. Right now, the suspect's being turned over to uh, the detectives. Uh, he has about knowledge of three or four other vehicles that are stolen, um, that have been dropped off around the, La the Las Vegas Valley. We actually got another uh, recovered stolen vehicle here in the parking lot. So he's going to do a trip with the detectives right now, uh, see if his information pans out, and from there he'll be going to jail. Another bad guy out the streets, and uh, job well done. It's great being a police officer in Jacksonville. We've got our high crime areas. We've got lower crime areas. You know, you got a lot of action. You've got a lot of uh, auto thefts, burglaries, robberies to individuals, robberies to businesses, a lot of drug activity. It's a good place to ride. And uh, so you're always active. November 156, 1050 at 34th and Myrtle. We got a guy running on us for some reason. 156, I got a white, small, compact car. Uh, ran a couple of stop signs. He's not stopping for me up here at 34th and Moncrief. About to turn north on Moncrief. If you got a couple of units close. Yeah, this guy ran a couple. Ran a couple stop signs on us. 
November 156. He's coming up on Palm Terrace looking like he's, uh, okay, he's going to continue north on Moncrief. Yeah, he's not stopping. He's ran a couple stop signs on us. He keeps pointing out the window here and uh, probably going to go back in this neighborhood and get a lot of stolen cars dumped. 34, what's your speed, Travis? November 156, westbound on 45th. We got a unit behind us here. He's looking to bail. We'll be at 44th. He's pulling into a driveway. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Get on the ground! 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 On the ground. On the ground. Cross your legs! Cross your legs, watch the car. Cross your legs. <laughs> ten fifty four, you know it's ten thirty three. What you driving like that for? I was just trying to get in the house, get the car towed out. Can I take a you see my license sirens? What are you driving like that for? I was just trying to bring the car home. Well, why aren't you stopping? I had to use the restroom. <clears throat> you gonna give me a better excuse than that or what? Is your license bad? You got something yeah, in the car? Is, it, no, my is bad. the car stolen? I mean, no, what's no, the deal? No, that's my daughter. I stay right there. That's my daughter's car. It's your daughter's car? Yes. How about your license? I guess they're suspended. I ain't for sure. You guess they're suspended? Yeah, I ain't for sure. Nothing illegal in that vehicle, right, sure. sir? No, ain't nothing, no, no, no. Okay, well, we're going to take a look. How bad is your license? Uh, they're suspended. Can I use the restroom? HQ Mike, 877, Well? He just got a small baggie of uh, marijuana and a couple of roaches, and uh, he says license is bad, and that, that's all we found in the car. And he said the the cars are his daughter, so I don't know I don't know why else he would run. You know anything about the you know, you know anything about the warrant off the arrest? Child support warrant. Okay. He had that little baggie of weed, a couple of roaches he was smoking. Uh, he's got a warrant for child support, and his license is I mean he's only got one one failure to pay on his license. So, it's all misdemeanors. Right, okay. Well, going to jail for uh, felony fleeing and eluding? Yeah, would have been misdemeanors. Hey, buddy. Have you had it? You been smoking the marijuana that you had in there? Mm-hmm. How much have you had to smoke? Just a bag. Just, well, you had one bag left in there. Where I saw a couple roaches in there. You just smoked those? That's all I got back in. Did y'all um, just let my wife know I'm out here? Have y'all done that? I mean... Yeah, is she inside? Yes. All right, hang tight. What is going on? Did, uh, did, he, know he, did he know that he had a warrant? I'm not for sure now on that part. Did, I mean, he has, a, he has a, uh, a writ for child support. Were you aware of that? It should be because we married and these are our kids and they're grown. Does he have any hmm. other kids? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know. I'll find no, out. I, Does he ever own you child support in the past? Ooh. Because he, uh, he, no. no. Um, have you ever known him to smoke any marijuana? Because he had some in the car. He does it from time to time, or is... smokes weed. Well, um, back to this child support. Do you have the keys to the car? Uh, -uh here they go, right here. Oh, you got them already. Okay. You want me to get for the car? You want me to release the car to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh let me. What? Oh, I've been say you asking that is in my driveway in my car. Why you run? I was, I knew uh, my license was suspended, so I was just trying to get the car home to my daughter because I knew she had to go to work. She just had a baby and all, so I knew it was hard on my wife. So I was just trying to get the car home. That's why I kept waving my arm out there, wanting to let them know I saw them and I was gonna stop. You know. So you knew they were behind you, but you you wasn't gonna stop till you got here. Right. That's why I come on my husband like too. That just makes things worse, man. We could still get the the car home to your to your daughter, but I mean, you just had misdemeanors and now you got a felony on you. Huh? So, what's gonna happen is, 
You're going to go to jail for a felony fleeing, attempting to elude, and a couple misdemeanors in the warrant. Okay? Next time the police stop you or attempt to stop you, stop. Usually we, uh, people run from us and if the car is using a... Well, no, we don't shoot him. Oh, I but don't shoot him. <laughs> no, ma'am. We don't shoot him, but, I mean, he got out and, and gave up. But, uh, you know, usually we seize the cars, you know, so that's a family car y'all got here. He could have got it seized tonight. Because it could have been worse. Yeah, you really, you could have been knocking on that door to ask me to identify a body. So, see, that's how I look at things. It could have been worse because he could have yeah. hit somebody or somebody could have hit him uh, by he putting his hands out the window. Y'all could have thought it was a gun and then opened fire. So you could have been knocking on that door asking me to come identify a body. So, see, I thank God. Yeah. You're right. Everything happens for a reason. So God does everything hopefully he'll learn from this one. Yes, sir. Right now, officers are um, getting ready to uh, take flight to eradicate some marijuana patches, uh, which we had prior information. Uh, right now, part of our uh, crew members will be heading out to our west side to uh, do an observation on a marijuana patch that was reported uh, to us by one of the pilots. Another crew will be heading out to the east side uh, in our uh, cane fields, which uh, uh, we received another report of some marijuana patches uh, being grown in that area. So what we'll do is we'll land out here on the road and they can walk into this one. Mike, you want to escort them in or what? Yeah, I can escort them in. Okay. But officers need to be very careful when they are locating these patches uh, for safety reasons so nobody gets hurt out there. The more they plant, the more they're trying to protect their crop. Their crop is money to them. Uh, although it's illegal, it is money to them. And the more they play the game, the more we'll play it. So what our second bird's gonna do at this time, they're gonna land and deploy the ropes. Uh, they'll put an officer on the end of the rope, and we'll put the officer in to eradicate this uh, marijuana plant. Shouldn't be much too further. You can kind of smell it already, and here they are. They usually use it in here because of the cane is uh, drip irrigated. They don't have to come in here and water it. What they do is they illegally tap into the water line here so they can water their plants. Each water line is, uh, each row has a water line for the cane, and the people will steal the water from a local sugar company here. Uh, to water their plants. So very shortly you'll see all the, how we bring the men into the cane field uh, to eradicate these. Uh, a lot of times it is not as easy as we did to walk in. It's very hard to walk into it. So what we call a stable line, they'll be hanging below the helicopter and the, the pilots who are very excellent pilots will put them directly on the patch very safely. Uh, they'll come in, either pull them or cut them and they'll be uh, extricated the same way through a stable line. When he's done with this little operation here, uh, he'll give a thumbs up or a ready, ready sign to our helicopter. Our pilot will do the same thing and bring in the stable line with the weight and the officer will be extricated out of here. This is a, this is a everyday occurrence or at least once a, uh, one week a month for every officer here. Uh, we will assist the whole state. We'll go to each island and assist with the eradication. Uh, eradication problem is not only here on Maui, it's on all islands within our state. We have a very bad uh, cannabis problem here. Uh, you know what, Don? I got some more right down below me, too. Okay, we're out from where they are. Uh, let me just count them. One, two. Okay, from where are you picking the guys up? There's two small structure cottages separated by a road. Uh, just move forward to that section and I'll uh, guide you in. Here we are in Pihahi. It's on the east side of the island. Just uh, Malta, towards the mountain of us. We have an, an officer just being pulled out of a patch now. Uh, it was a smaller patch, maybe between 10 to 20 plants in 10 different locations. The dangerous part about it was right next to a couple of houses.
As far as we walked in, I walked in, I passed two of them. We passed out, uh, some out in the open. But right here is the trail marker. For some of these guys, they use the old style. And this is a marker for the trail, okay? Uh, one looks like a phone line, and one looks like some kind of electrical cord. Uh, I'm pretty sure you follow this along the line, you will come up to the rest of these uh, plants that our Chapel One uh, officers are working right now as we speak. As you can see, they know that we fly this Operation Wipeout, so as best possible, they try to hide it. They put all their foliage around it. But you can see how lush green it is from this uh, earlier plant that I showed you right here. This is really hurting this individual. This particular patch with this thick bud is really, really hurting this individual. This is a very, very profitable, profitable little plant right here. This is probably a water line here that he set up. Just co coincidentally, the water line goes right past one of our matured marijuana plants. Right in between, there's one here and there's one right here. This is some nice plants. As you can see, it's very budded out and we're really hurting this guy's operation, taking these plants away from him. So right here, just right off of the water line, we go one, two, three, four, right in a row. And Chapel One workers are pulling the rest that was up in the hill. A lot of this is the Maui Waui that they talk about. There's red fibers and a thick bud there, okay? It's very sticky to the touch. There's a lot of resin on it. And this is right here on Maui, famous known, Maui Waui. Uh, this is day one, and this is the, the end of day one. It's a very successful day. More successful being because everybody's going home safe. And in the process, we ruined some people's uh, day today, and uh, maybe the rest of the year. Coast Marine. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 can transmit on tag 2.